Number 65, Integrated Concepts. A light rail commuter train draws 630 amps of 650 voltage uh, direct current electricity when accelerating. Letter A, what is its power consumption rate in kilowatts? So simply power, remember, is equal to current multiplied by voltage. They gave us the current and the voltage, so this is nice and easy, right? I hope all the problems like this are going to work out uh, this way for the rest of the book. And it's going to be 630 times 650, and I'm sure you're saying the same thing. 4.0, I guess, 1, 0 times 10 to the, uh, what do we got? So, 3, 4, 5. All right, that's in watts. You need in kilowatts divided by 1,000. So this is going to be 4.10 times uh, 10 to the second kilowatts. Done. All right, letter now... Well, what happened to that one, huh? All right, so let's take a look at letter B. So it says now, how long does it take to reach 20 meters per second starting from rest if its loaded mass is 5.3 times 10 to the 4 kilograms, assuming 95% efficiency? Uh, so we're going to start with the formula again, P is equal to IV. I went over this concept a little bit in number 64, so take a look. Now remember, uh, this is the current and the voltage uh, that is going to be supplied to create the power, but not as it tells us, not all of it, is being used to generate power, only 95% of it. So what I need to do is simply plug, plug in a 0.95 here. Now this is gonna be whatever amount of, essentially, uh, power is supplied by this battery, only 95% of it will go to the actual power, right, being supplied. So um, what I now need to do is I need to say, okay, great, well, I need to solve for time, it's asking, because it's asking for how long, where the heck is the time in here? Well, the time is hidden in the power. Remember, that is simply energy over time, is equal to then 0.95, times the IV, okay? Now, sounds like something I might need at the moment. So here, let's cross multiply, solve this for T, and here we go. We need to find now the energy, all right? And if I find the energy that's required to do this, then I find my answer. Now consider, we know velocities. The initial velocity is gonna be equal to zero. The final velocity is gonna be equal to 20 meters per second. And the mass, is 5.3 times 10 to the 4 kilograms. You got to think, how are these variables related to energy? Well, probably through kinetic energy, right? Energy of motion. So what's the kinetic energy of the train at the start? What's the energy in general of the train at the start, assuming it didn't change any height or anything like that? Well, it's zero. So, and what's its final kinetic energy, its final energy, assuming it didn't change any height? Well, we can find that out. So the kinetic energy here, whatever it is finally, is the total amount of energy that was uh, produced uh, by the battery, okay? So here we got 5.3, sorry. So this is going to be 1 half times the mass. Remember the formula, 5.3 times 10 to the four, uh, fourth, then multiplied by the velocity squared. So the velocity here is 20, and that's squared. Not average velocity, but the final velocity, because... That would represent the total amount of kinetic energy here reached 20 meters per second. So 0.5 multiplied by 5.3 times 10 to the fourth multiplied by 20 squared. And we get a value of about 1.06, 1.06 times 10 to the 3, 6, 7 it looks like, I guess, joules. So now all we need to do is take this value and then plug it on in for the energy. And bada bing, bada boom, there we go. 1.06 times 10 to the seventh, all divided by 0.95 times the current, which was 630, times the voltage, which was uh, 650, will equal now the time. So plug it on in. Divided then by 0.95 times 630 times 650. Oops, I did 635 times 650. <clears throat> so about 27.2. So 27.2 seconds. That's the time, okay? So that's letter B. All right, more fun. Of course, there's a letter C. Come on now. All right, letter C. Um, find its average acceleration. So let's just do this in terms of uh, kinematics. Final velocity is equal to the initial velocity plus the acceleration times time. The acceleration there is going to be equal to the final minus the initial, all divided by then the time. And this is, right, this is simple stuff now. This is 20 minus 0 all over 27.2. So the acceleration is going to be 20 over that value. 0 0.734, 0 0.734 meters per second squared. That's the average acceleration. Okay, discuss how the acceleration you found in the light rail train compares to what we uh, Yeah, 
We're not going to do that. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you soon. Take care.